Hello everyone and welcome to the Pinecraft basic tutorial guide. In this video I'm going to show you how to create a drawing application from scratch. So you get the Pinecraft package and what we need from here is a Pinecraft prefab. Drag this to the scene and this is almost what you need to do. If you will start it uh, right now you will get some errors because uh, canvas controller don't know where to draw. So we can choose existing pages uh, which provided with this package or we can create a new one. Let's create a new page config. It could be a blank page config and we need to set up some parameters. Unique ID is a unique ID for the whole application. If you have uh, 10 pages, uh, each page must have a different ID. It could be any screen here and the size of this page. You can set up any sizes here. I will set the default uh, iPad to resolution. And then we need to select this new config. Now if we will start, we can draw on the blank pages. You can see that we have a gray background color. We can change it right here in the canvas controller. Default background color. Let's set up the white color and then I will explain you briefly what is the line config. Each line in the canvas controller has some parameter. Is uh, which brush to use and uh, color, spacing and scale. Uh, some brush support these parameter spacing, some are not. So let's start and see how it works. You see that it has uh, some, uh, I don't know, maybe blue, maybe green color. You can change it to the red one and now you will have a red brush. If you change, change scale, you will get uh, thinker line and the same you can change it in uh, editor mode let's make the black color as a default line color okay now let's create uh, some ui elements to do that i will create a i will use a standard unity ui elements um, let's create uh, several panels. Uh, one is uh, tools, one is uh, system and one is uh, color. Color split. Okay, uh, let's create a vertical layout group and add some buttons. We need, let's create the three buttons and put this to the left bottom color. Uh, to do that you just need to hold down the shift and alt key and click this uh, left bottom corner and these buttons come to the to here. Let's do the same for the system buttons. I will clone command D or control D on Windows button and put this to the system panel. And let's clone it here and add uh, vertical layout elements as well. And put this to the right corner. And for the color palette I will use horizontal layout group and let's create uh, five buttons and put this to the bottom center side. Um, I will change the height to the 30 and width to the 150. We don't need captions for the color elements, so I will just remove them. Okay, so layout is ready. Let's change the captions. I will use several tools. Um, ok, 
OK. Left the buttons are ready. Let's change system buttons. Uh, I'm going to set just three buttons as a clear canvas button, on the button, and the red button. Clear Undo. and red. Okay, and seems like we are done. So now we need to add some controllers to this button. To change tools for our canvas, we need to use following controller. Uh, change brush on click controller. You see that we don't change the brush on the canvas. We change the brush in the line config in the, this element. So let's select all these buttons and use lookup window to select uh, oh no, this lookup and select line config. And now we can select the different brushes. Okay, this is for ink. This is for Ryan and this is for spray okay for system button uh, we have uh, follow the things to clear the canvas we can call directly the method on the canvas controller so I've just added um, on click event here uh, we drag uh, our canvas here and select the canvas clear function. Clear canvas function. function. Okay, for the under and redder, we have I have a specific controller. Uh, add component and click undo and redder and set up link to the canvas. I did that because uh, Undo and Red are available only if you have a specific layer. Uh, let me demonstrate how it works. So we changed the ink. You can see that ink, crime, and spray. And you see that uh, Red is unavailable because we don't have Red layers. But if you click Undo, Red become available. And the same for the Undo. If you have, if you don't have the Undo, this button become unavailable. So this is how it works. And the last step here is a change the colors. Okay, uh, let's define the background colors for our buttons. I could, you could set any colors. Something like this. And then we need to add a specific controller. Color, change color on click controller. And the same, we need to provide the link to our line config, which I mentioned before. And you see that this controller has a property color and we need to change this color because actually this color is just a visual element and this color is a color which will be switched on the line config to do that quickly you can select all these buttons and use this config menu and select copy color from image and now all this element has the same color as the visual elements that's it if you click the play button you can change tools you can change colors and you can clear canvas or under and redder that's it thanks for watching see you in next video